In this video, we're going to create uh, two iOS uh, screens uh, of a medical app. So let's get started and let's uh, click on the frame uh, and we're going to create two frames uh, based on, uh, let's say the iPhone 11 Pro X, uh, but you can choose whatever size you prefer. Now, before we, start, we get started, I'm actually going to show the keyboard viewer again so that you can see each and every keyboard action that I'm going to make, since I love also using shortcuts and uh, that's going to make it very easy to um, basically see that. So let's get started with uh, the text. We're going to have a text which says, good morning. And we're going to select the type Lato, which is a free Google web font which you can download by simply going on the Google Web Fonts website and then selecting Lato. So I'm going to just show you here, I'm going to simply type in Lato in Google. And you can see that fonts.google.com is the very first website which you want to go to and click on download family. And basically this is going to download Lato for free, then double click on the zip file install the font and you're be good to go. So this is going to be the very first uh, type and we're going to have a second one which is going to be just going to make up a name and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Let's make it 16 points and also medium or actually let's try Straight bold, yeah, I think I like that one better. I'll make this one 13. And uh, before we continue, I'm actually going to go here on the layout grid, click on it and uh, select columns. I'm going to make a count of two columns. And I'm also going to add a little bit of margin so that we can have some margin in between. Also going to make the gutter a little bit smaller and uh, all right, this is looking good. Let's make the layout grid a little bit less visible. Perfect. So let's bring this one here. And then the very next thing we're gonna do is we're going to create a rectangle here. Apply, or actually let's make it full, a full circle. And uh, I'm going to duplicate this, bring it back to being a rectangle again. I'm going to stretch it all the way. And uh, this is going to give us uh, some basic uh, basic structure that we're going to use uh, in order to see if we're moving in the right direction. And when it comes to the layout grid, probably going to change uh, a little bit of more gutter just because I want more space in between these elements and this is looking good all right now another thing I'm, that i'm gonna do is i'm going to duplicate this make it bold this is going to be appointment and uh, we're also going to have uh, some uh, sections here this is going to be Doctors, and uh, let's bring this one here at the bottom, stretch it all the way, and overall, I think this is starting to look pretty good. Let's make a feel, study stroke. So, basically, what we're doing here now is to try and establish the general mood of this uh, visual design and so far so good now we're going to have a few doctors here and uh, yeah this is looking good We're going to use the same color. All right, now let's start adding some other elements here. Let's 
let's add the, the text, let's bring it up. Make up a name right here and uh, let's uh, add something on the very right. Uh, um, or actually, search. let's just make this out some more information about the doctor and uh, let's add uh, a not a due date but when the appointment is going to be set so this is going to be on actually Monday Right, thirty zero nine thirty. All right, so far, so good. Probably going to add the. I'm actually wondering if it's going to be better here or below that. Let's just keep it there for the time being. All right, so far, so good. Probably let's make this one here. So I'm kind of, uh, like at this stage, I'm kind of doing a mix of UX and UI design. So just trying to figure out what is going to work best uh, that very moment. And uh, yeah, just trying to, to figure out the general ideas. So, we're going to have surgeon, we're going to have uh, assistant, center this, center this one as well. Let's add some text here. Find the nearby doctor. And uh, we're, we also need some text below. So. this it's going to be pediatrician this is going to be general doctor that's even a thing <laughs> but So far, so good. Now, what we want to do is to add uh, some sort of uh, some icons. And uh, for this specific uh, case, I'm going to use some nuclear icons, but uh, you can feel free to use any icon library which uh, you prefer. Simply going to search for doctor. So you can easily, for example, go on Google and search for uh, medical icons, doctor icons, and uh, you can find the one which uh, you prefer. In this case, I'm going to go with this icon right here. And uh, since we're, let's use this one here for the assistant. All right, so far, so good. Going to use the search one now and I'm going to find a search oh there you go a search icon let's add it here and for the sake of consistency I'm going to use uh, the same uh, color that we have over here let's make this one a bit more like this and um, yeah so far so good now, oh, so need an arrow. Um, I think I'm going to go with this one here. Let's make it smaller. Let's bring it all the way here. And let's duplicate it. All 
All right, so far, so good. Let to make this one 50%. And this one, I'm going to keep it the same. So overall, this is starting to look uh, pretty good. And uh, generally speaking, I'm happy with this. Now, one thing that uh, I probably want to do, uh, I'm actually wondering, well, let's add some icons below. going to go with the outlines mm, is that this one here this one here we're we going to add two more the height and width let's make it 15 oh, that's a bit too much yeah, maybe 30 will do all right now let's zoom in and let's do some work on this. Actually, let's distribute it all the way here to here. And I want these two to be smaller. Yeah, that will do. is starting to look uh, pretty good and now one thing that we're gonna do is to actually remove or actually not remove but not make the um, the grids visible and uh, we're going to adjust uh, the design a little bit better since we don't have the grids so make these ones and I'm actually wondering if it's gonna be better to just add shadows instead of strokes yeah maybe something around these lines that would do all right so far so good now let's bring this one here and of course, uh, as we're recording, there's going to be some background noise. <laughs> okay, it's already gone. Sorry for that, guys, if you heard of it. And uh, let's uh, do one thing now. We're going to make this uh, the primary color that we're going to use in this app, which is going to be this, this sort of blue tint. I think it's looking pretty nice. And let's also add uh, a rectangle below all right so far so good the colors also these guys right here it's a little bit more of a white space in between and uh, yeah I think this this is uh, starting to take shape uh, pretty well and uh, one thing I want to do it, though is to instead of having the opacities here 
going to make these uh, this color. I think this is already starting to look better. Let's make these ones one. All right, let's do the same also for these arrows. All right, so far, so good. Now, the very next thing that we're going to do is we're going to leverage the plugin that we have here, which is Unsplash. Just need to move this one, or actually could have selected it. And now I think it's loading up. Maybe let's, yep, there you go. I'm going to write in here, doctor. And if you don't have the Unsplash plugin, you can simply go under the manage plugin section. Here we go and uh, you can essentially find it directly here. So it's uh, very easy. You can install the plugin. It's 100% uh, free, so you can easily use it afterwards. All right, let's uh, go on and let's add the very first picture of the doctor. I'm going to change the name here since this is a good picture. All right, and uh, just for the sake uh, of uh, practicality, I'm going to make, uh, going to change the name of this doctor as well, since the, we all have male um, images, and uh, yeah, let's just add the, here this name. All right. So far, so good. So we also have the pictures. I'm going to leave a splash right below in case we need it again. Maybe let's add a little bit of a drop shadow. See how that looks. All right. Yeah, I think this is looking uh, looking good. Let's maybe make these icons also a tad smaller since some reason I'm, I feel like they could benefit a bit of a smaller size. All right, so far, so good. Let's change also the color right here. Oops. Hmm. There you go. All right, this is starting to look uh, pretty interesting. And uh, in the second video, we're going to create uh, the next screen and we're also going to tidy all this up and make it work all together. So I'll see you in the very next